They told us when we voted that we were voting for uncertainty. Well, let me tell you what would have happened if we would voted to remain. Since that date, we have seen the confirmation. Despite 50 years of lies from the British establishment, 50 years of the British establishment telling us that the common market, that the European Union is just about trade, cooperation and will not affect our sovereignty. I remember very well doing a debate against Nick Clegg. Oh, I'm sorry, Sir Nick Clegg, that's important, that bit. But I remember doing a debate and saying to him, one of the reasons I did not want to be in the European Union is because they would build a European army and I believe that would threaten NATO and our own military abilities. And when I've talked in the past about being worried that they may force us into a second referendum, I don't want it any more than you do. But I'm saying to you, we have to face reality in the face. Don't think, don't think the other side don't think the other side aren't organised. Don't think the other side aren't prepared. Don't think the other side haven't raised the money, haven't got the teams in place. They have. The Remain campaign are well organised. And one of the failures on our side is having won this historic victory, we kind of all went back to our day jobs. And I guess it was reasonable to think, wasn't it, with 500 MPs voting for Article 50 that we'd won that that was the end of it. Folks, I don't believe that it is the end of it. And what I am doing here together with Leave Means Leave is building an organisation, building a structure on the ground, rebuilding the People's Army that helped us win that referendum in 2016. Let us prepare, let us organise, and I urge all of you to help us in this great campaign. In fact, the better organised they believe we are, the less likely they are to call that second referendum. I hope it's not needed, but I'm pessimistic and I believe that it may. And I'll tell you, as I said in the video, if I, if I have to fight again against this lot, then believe me, next time, as far as I'm concerned, it's no more Mr. Nice Guy. But now, in a desperate attempt, in a desperate attempt, the Prime Minister wants to try and get her Brexit in name only through, and she's now engaged on a cross-party debate, attempting to achieve consensus with a group of parties who are all Remainers. The only person that didn't turn up, of course, was Jeremy Corbyn, which is odd. Well, he's perfectly happy to meet Hamas, isn't he? <laughs> perfectly happy to meet his buller, happy to take tea with the IRA, but he wouldn't go and meet Mrs May, which I find a little bit strange. 